Hey everyone, my name is Quinn Cuslidge and I'm a professional VR developer and Unreal Engine expert. And today I'm going to tell you how to fix Unreal Engine enhanced input systems from firing, specifically in Unreal 5.5. Now what I'm actually talking about is when we have a controller, right? We have buttons on this controller that we create input mappings for, and that's how we fire off events on our pawn in our game. Now, the issue that I was facing was I would, you know, pull the trigger and something is supposed to happen and then nothing would happen because the enhanced input actions are not firing, they're not connected. And uh, it took me two days to solve this issue and I wanted to share my solution with you guys in order to save you some time and hopefully some headache because it you know, is really irritating when you're trying to set this stuff up and it doesn't work. Now, the general problem started out like this. Here inside of my Unreal Engine project, I have a regular VR pawn and then I have this like FPV drone because I'm trying to make an FPV drone template with my MetaQuest 3. And then inside of this pawn, I wanted it to have its own input mapping context, its own actions. That way I don't have to worry about overlapping any input actions of the regular VR pawn and that way, if I want to just have the FPV drone, I can export it out into a different project for different purposes. Um, this is why we use the enhanced input system. Now, in the past, the way that we would do this, you know, back in Unreal Engine 4 days, we would go to input systems, and then right in here in action and access mappings, we would actually put all of our mappings for the controller or the keyboard or a gamepad whatever. If you look right up here in the bindings, it says access and action mappings are now depreciated. Please use enhanced input actions. Now. You can still use this system if you want to, but I would recommend that you don't because they're gonna remove it soon. So instead we use enhanced input actions. And that basically consists of a bunch of actions that you set up. So for example, if we go into the throttle, I set up an action where you're going to use the trigger to make the drone move forward. So it flies like an FPV drone. I give it an axis value. I save out that action. And then I would go into the IMC drone, which is like my input mapping context for all of the input actions that go into flying my drone. And then I would set up the throttle and then I would give it a button mapping on the controller that associates with that action. Then once I'm done with that, I'd go inside of my drone pawn, which is basically just a camera, a controller, and a little FPV drone mesh that I downloaded from Sketchfab. And inside of the event graph, I would first enable input, so I basically get the player controller, I enable input on it, and then I set the input mapping context to what I want it to be. So as you can see here, I get the player controller, I get the local player subsystem, and then I set my IMC QK drone input mapping context so that I can use its actions in the pawn. Now here's the issue with that. For some reason, this was not actually doing what I wanted it to do. So if I wanted to, for example, say IA underscore throttle, and then add that input mapping context. And just to test it out, we're gonna drag off from triggered and put a print string. This is just a, basically a way to test to see if something's actually firing. We would go and compile and save that. I would go back to my main map, I'd press play. I'm just gonna hold the headset in my hands for this. I'm gonna grab my right controller and I'm gonna pull the trigger. So when I pull this trigger, we should be seeing a print string in the upper left corner of this screen but we're not. Now, the way I would go about debugging this is I would go back into my input mapping context and I would grab the IA throttle and I would just click plus to add another action mapping. I'm gonna click on this little keyboard and I'm just gonna assign it to R. So basically you just click the little keyboard and you press the button that you wanna assign it to. This is purely for debugging. No one would ever actually use this if they were playing my VR FPV drone game, right? But we wanna see what's going on. And then if we go back, we compile and save all that and we play again, I grab my headset to activate it. Then I hold R. That doesn't fire either. So basically what's happening is the input mapping context is not getting any information from Unreal and from my controller or my keyboard. And this was where I was stuck and there was literally nothing to help me fix this and it was super frustrating. So basically what I did is I went into project settings and I just started searching up inputs. And when I type in enhanced input, I go down here where it says default mapping context. And I can see that they've got the mapping context for the default pawn, the hands, the menu, the weapons in the basic VR template. And I was like, okay, I guess I'll just add mine. So I'm gonna go up to the default mapping context. I'm going to go down to index five where I just added a new one. I'm gonna click in here. I'm gonna type in IMC underscore drone. Oh. Sorry, I named it QK Drone. There we go. So I'm gonna drag that in. 
I'm gonna say add immediately and I'm gonna just leave it as is, right? It's priority number zero. We're just gonna keep it like that. Now to save this, we just go file and we do save all. Now, if I launch again, I pick up my headset. There's my drone slamming onto the floor and I hold the trigger. Now we can see that that event is firing. So this basically solved my issue. And the only way I found it was by searching in project settings. But as you can see, I go here, I hold the headset up so it's like being activated. I put my little thumb in this thing here and then I just pull the trigger. And so now the throttle is actually giving me the information that I would need to put an event on it. That's the end of this video. I really hope that you found it helpful and it solved some issues or maybe headache that you've been facing for the last couple days. I know it helped me out and I wanted to just make this video for anyone else who's facing this same problem. If you wanna learn more about adding enhanced input actions to Unreal 5 and also making them work inside of the pawn as well as attaching events to them, I have a two hour long tutorial on creating thumbstick locomotion in Unreal Engine 5 as part of a Half-Life Alex in Unreal Engine series that I'm doing. It goes through creating input mappings, putting them into an input mapping context and then actually putting them into the pond to make them work. So if you want to do that and you want to learn more about how to use this system, that's the perfect video for you. And I will link it in the description as well as in a card on this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm still working on my Half-Life Alex series. I've already modeled one of my guns. I'm working on the second. And then I'm also going to hire an artist to help me design the third one once I'm done with the first two. It's going to be really cool. These assets are going to be free to download and you'll be able to use them to make super awesome guns in Unreal Engine. I'm also working on this FPV drone template, which I will be releasing and making a tutorial on. And I'm working on full body IK in Unreal Engine. This is something that you guys have been asking me for a ton over the last couple months. And I wasn't gonna do it until I finished the Half-Life Alex series, but basically every time I post an update about it, people are like, yo, make IK. And I'm like, okay, fine, I will do that. So I'm working on the full body IK. That'll be my next tutorial out. Then I'm gonna be doing uh, physics on the hands. And then finally, I will be doing that gun template that I was talking about. And that should finish out January of next year. And then I'll start making new videos off of that, more Half-Life Alex videos, stuff like that. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, have a whatever. Peace.